Two of the nodes of a BST are swapped. Correct the BST. Consider this BST. Let's swap two of the nodes in this tree. Now, to correct this BST, let's observe the in-order traversal for it. We know that for a BST the in-order traversal will be in a sorted order. But since we have swapped two of the nodes, there will be some discontinuity in the in-order traversal of this tree. Here, the discontinuities in this in-order traversal are. From the first case we will pick the first node. And, from the second case we will pick the second node. Now, swapping these nodes will give us the correct PSD. Another case is when the neighbors in the tree are swapped. In that case, there will be only one discontinuity in the in-order traversal, and we will simply swap the two nodes causing the discontinuity to get the correct PSD. Detect cycle in a linked list. Let's take this linked list for example. To find the loop present in it, we will take two pointers, a slow and a fast pointer. Initially point both of these pointers at the beginning node of the list. Now, as the name suggests, the fast pointer will move twice as fast as the slow pointer. Now that both of the pointers are in loop, they, at some point will definitely meet. And if both of these pointers meet, then that would suggest there's a loop present in the linked list. Therefore, keep moving the pointers until they meet. However, if there's no loop, the pointers will reach null without ever meeting. Find the least common ancestor, LCA, of a binary tree. Let's take this binary tree as example. The nodes whose least common ancestor is to be found are A and B. Starting from the root node, look for the LCA in the left and the right subtrees of this node. To check in the left subtree, we will move to the left node. Again, we have to look for the LCA in both the left and the right subtrees of this node, so, we will move to the left node to check in the left subtree. We will keep translating the tree in this fashion until we reach the leaf node, or either, A, or B. Now that we have arrived at the leaf node, we will send a null to its parent as a search result. Also, since there are no more nodes left to follow, we will move to the right node. This node is A, we will send this node as a search result to its parent. Coming back, each parent will have two search results corresponding to its left and the right subtree. So here, we have null for the left subtree, and, A, for the right subtree as the search results. Since one of these values is not null, we will pass that value as a search result to its parent. We will keep moving, until we reach some parent whose search results for the left and the right subtree are not null. This parent with non-null search results will be the least common ancestor of A and B. And we will pass this node as a search result to its parent until the root node of the whole tree is reached. Check if a binary tree is height balanced. Let's take this binary tree for example. For this tree to be balanced, its left and right subtree should also be balanced, and the difference between the heights of left and right subtree should be at most 1. Now, the left subtree will be balanced if its subtrees are balanced and their height difference is at most 1. In this similar manner, we will be checking for each child subtree, until we reach a leaf node. And for the leaf node, we will call it balanced as there are no more children to it. And, for any leaf node, the height will be 1 as leaf nodes do not have subtrees. Now, each node will have a height corresponding to the subtree it represents. This height will be the maximum of the heights of its subtrees. Moving on to the parent. 
Here, the height of the left subtree is 1 and since the right subtree does not exist its height is 0. Therefore, the difference in heights of its subtrees is 1 and this subtree is balanced. So, we can go further and check for its parent. Also, the height corresponding to this subtree will be 1 more than the height of its left subtree. Again, moving on to the parent node, we will check if the corresponding subtree is balanced in a similar way. The difference between the heights of the children's subtrees is 1 so this subtree is balanced. Also, the height of this subtree is 3. And now, coming to the root node. The total height of the left subtree is 3. And the total height of the right subtree derived in the same way is 2. Thus the difference of the left and the right subtrees is 1 which means that this binary tree is balanced. Given an unsorted array of size n, such that only one element occurs twice. All the elements are from 1 to n. Find the missing element. Let's take this array for example. Take XOR of each element in the array. Now take another XOR of all the elements from 1 to n, where n is total number of elements in the array. XOR them both with each other. This will leave us with XOR of the missing and the repeated element, as all the alike elements will be cancelled out. Now, from the binary representation of this XOR value, choose any set bit, and mark its corresponding position in every element from the array, and also in all the elements from 1 to n. Now, separate all the elements in two groups, based on the presence of set bit at the marked position in their binary representation. XOR each of these groups. One of the groups will leave us with the repeated element and another one with the missing element. If this video helped, then let us know. Leave a like, or a comment. Thank you for watching.